Paddy Straw Mushroom Volvariella volvacea, also known as, paddy straw mushroom, or straw mushroom. It is a species, of edible mushroom, cultivated throughout East and Southeast Asia, and used extensively, in Asian cuisines. They are often, available fresh in regions, they are cultivated, but elsewhere, are more frequently found, canned, or dried. Worldwide, straw mushrooms are, the third most, consumed mushroom. Common name. Paddy straw mushroom, or straw mushroom, or Chinese mushroom. Nutrition. One cup of straw mushrooms, is nutritionally dense, and provides, 58 kilocalories, of food energy. 27.7 micrograms selenium, 50.36% of RDA, 699 milligrams sodium, 46.6%. 2.6 milligram iron, 32.5%. 0.242 milligram copper, 26.89%. 69 microgram vitamin B9, 17.25%. 111 milligram phosphorus, 15.86%. 0.75 mg vitamin B5, 15%. 6.97 gram protein, 13.94%. 4.5 gram total dietary fiber, 11.84%, and 1.22 mg zinc, 11.09%. Description of the mushroom. As the name implies, this mushroom's most distinctive feature is, its vulva, or cup, and resembles a classic ammonita, except that, an annulus is lacking. Cap is, 5 to 15 centimeters broad, egg-shaped at first, soon expanding to, campanulate, or broadly convex, with a slight umbo. Cap, smoky brown to, cigar brown, or blackish brown. Darker when young, fading in age and or, with exposure to light. Margin edge, radially ridged. Gills free, white at first, soon pinkish, close to crowded. Stem, 4 to 20 cm long, and 1 to 1.5 cm thick, white to yellowish, solid, and smooth. The stem base is, encased in a thick vulva. Growth parameter. Temperature. 24 to 35 degrees Celsius temperature, is favorable, for paddy straw mushroom spawn run. 27 to 32 degrees Celsius temperature, is needed for, pinhead formation, as well as fruiting. Relative humidity. Maintain about, 85 to 95 percent relative humidity. CO2 concentration. More than, 5000 ppm CO2, is needed at the time of, spawn run, and 1000 to 5000 ppm, is enough for fruiting. Now come to the point, of method of cultivation. Fresh dried straw, is most suitable for, its cultivation. The straw, is tied into bundles of, 1.2 meter long, and 25 centimeters diameter size, followed by, steeping of bundles, in water. This is done, in a cemented tank, for 24 to 48 hours. The bundles, are taken out, and put on a cemented floor, for a few hours, for draining out, the excess water. The mushroom beds, are prepared on a, raised bamboo platform, inside a thatched hut. For Pruitt bundles, are placed side by side, on this platform, facing all the loose ends, on one side. Then another four bundles are, placed with their, tied ends on the, opposite side. The loose ends, of all the eight bundles, meet, and overlap each other, in the middle. Then, spawn is applied, on this. First layer about, 15 centimeters away from, the outer edge. On top of the spawned, first layer, a little quantity of, gram dal powder, about 200 gram per bed, is applied, along with the spawn. On top of the spawned, first layer of 8 bundles, again a second layer of 8 bundles, is placed, in a similar fashion, and spawned. A third layer, is again laid, on top of the second layer, and followed by, fourth layer of bundles, and spawning. All these 32 bundles, make a single bed, which is now pressed, to remove the entrapped air, and make it compact, for effective spawn run. In order to, avoid rapid water loss, the beds are covered with, polythene sheets, or gunny sheets. The individual beds, are watered daily, without opening them, with a rose can, once or twice, depending upon, the climatic conditions. 
The total dry weight of straw bed is 25 to 32 kilograms. A minimum of 18 to 22 liter water per bed is sprayed to maintain the moisture level of 65 to 70 percent. It takes 10 to 15 days for complete mycelial growth under optimum conditions of 30 to 35 degrees Celsius temperature with 85 to 90 percent relative humidity. The spawn run beds are exposed to fresh air and the mushrooms start appearing within a few days. These are picked at button stage early in the morning. The fruiting bodies are carefully separated from the adhering straw. Mushroom production continues for a period of two to three weeks. Each bed of 30 kilograms dry straw can produce four to five kilograms of fresh mushrooms. When the mushroom production stops, the straw can be composted to form manure. This mushroom is very good in taste and valued for its excellent aroma.